How you feeling after win number one? Oh, feeling great. Feeling great. Anytime you get a win, uh, you're happy about it, and uh, everybody in the locker room is pumped up and, and ready for, for more wins. When you don't take contact throughout the offseason, how long does it take you to kind of, kind of get back in the rhythm of the uh, At this point in my career, it's usually about just the first hit, and then I'm ready to go. Um, I mean, it's, it, it's you know kind of just welcome back, um, and they don't necessarily have to be a big hit. It just has to be a hit and be like, all right, contact's back. Is there a couple that you'd like back? A couple plays? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, you know, I, I, um, I think there's there's multiple plays that we could have um, piled on a little bit more and, and really attacked attack them. And um, I definitely would have liked a couple throws back, a couple moments back as well. Sure. I know it's easier once you watch the film, but but you know, kind of in the immediate aftermath, can you sort of see some differences between that stretch where I think you score on three straight drives into the end zone on three straight drives, and then maybe just you know kind of losing that rhythm for a few drives in a row? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think we had some some, some negative plays, whether that's um, you know missed assignment, um, maybe a penalty uh, sack, or. Um, kind of just missing missing a read on my part, um, and that really can kill drive. Um, and I think we had one too many of those today, um, especially in the second half. How much of that gets cleaned up? I don't want to say naturally, but but you know, pushing that you talked about week one, you see that stuff flare up a little bit more. The mistakes, the penalties, just a little, the small errors. How much of that just kind of just almost just works its way out of the system after a week or two of your experience? Yeah, um, I, I think it, it definitely comes with with getting that game, with those game reps, getting the first game out of the way, um, being able to come back the, the next day and, and be able to fine tune those things. Personally, myself, got to uh, watch the film and, and know that I need to be better um, as we continue to move along the season. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just continue to work, work on that. Kurt, Kurt mentioned your scrambling um, and how you kind of were elusive and how that helped the offense. You know, just feel natural back there to be able to do that and what kind of a you know, extending the plays. How do, why do you feel so comfortable being able to do that? Uh, most of it is just reactionary. Um, you know, I, it's not something that I, I pride myself on. You know, I, I, I trust my arm. Um, but if, if the play dictates it, or if you know, I need to escape or anything like that, I kind of just instincts, you know, kick in and, and try to do whatever I can to help uh, move the chains. Was that Miles Cross play? I think he dropped in the backyard, Mike, because you have played before, obviously, with him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's a, he's. A, Really talented receiver. Uh, really happy that he, he, he was able to come here with me and, and be able to uh, be such a great weapon for another year. Um, but yeah, he just he showed out. How would you describe today? And was when how excited were you were, were you coming into the game? Is it I mean is today like Christmas, Halloween, or <laughs> what, what kind of holiday is this? I mean, yeah, this was this was one of the best days of the year. It's it's ever since January when a lot of us got here um, and really started working. I mean, we've been dreaming of this this day and, and finally just be able to play football as a team. Um, we came really close uh, throughout the whole off season, um, and we were just ready to get going. I think seven different guys caught a pass today was spreading the wealth around the offense uh, point of emphasis heading into the week. Uh, not, not necessarily an emphasis, but we have so many talented guys in the, in the receiver room, uh, running back room, tight end room. Um, and so, you know, just being able to have those guys to get the, get the ball in their hands um, is, is something that, you know, we want to do and we'll continue to do. Coach mentioned playing with the lead and not getting complacent. Um, feel like that needs to, you got to, you can learn, learn to do a better job with that? Uh, absolutely. Uh, I think there's a couple shots that we missed, um, a couple throws that I missed that could have really, uh, you know, put put another score on the board and really, you know, kind of ended the game a lot earlier than we did. And, and so, um, you know, the chances were there, um, and we just got to hit them next time. Some of those plays that you talked about missing, like, do, you, do you feel like there are balls that need to become better or just kind of reads that you need to make differently? Or I guess what was really going wrong with some of those plays? Uh, yeah, a, a little bit of both. Uh, some of them, I'm just going to, you know, watch them film um, and uh, be able to just get ready uh, and change the next week. Do you have a post-game routine? Uh, not really, no. Just usually come see whoever came uh, to watch, kind of go see with them, hang out with them, um, and then be able to go, go home to the wife and, and hang out with her. How much of your family going to be able to make out this year? I mean, your brother, I guess, what time is you and your brother? Yeah, the, you know, the the benefit of having both of us play, there's always football going on. You're always able to go to a game. Um, and so they're, they're balance it and, and do a really good job. On uh, My brother might even come down for a bye week, which is pretty cool. So. Were they here today for you? Uh, my, my parents right now. He, my brother's actually kicking off in a couple minutes, so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take two more. Chris, what do you want to, you know, if you had to assess your game coming off the field, what's the thing that you want to improve on for a Western Illinois Friday? Yeah, uh, just being more consistent. Uh, I think we had a lot of really good drives, um, especially in the first half. We uh, uh, Those three drives in a row went down and scored. Obviously, you want to be as consistent as you can and, and have scoring drives. 
Um, but I mean, the more consistent we are, the more cons consistent I am as a, as, as a quarterback, uh, the more the offense moves, the uh, more success we'll have. Thoughts on the run game and how well you guys were able to get that going today? Yeah, uh, fantastic. Uh, I mean, if, if you want to be have a successful pass game, you got to be able to run the ball. And we, you know, hats off to the running backs, hats off to the O line and tight ends for being able to to block uh, exceptionally well. Um, and I think that you know, 93 yard drive, uh, you know, really caters to you know how good our offensive line was run blocking there. So huge. Great. Thanks, Curtis. Thank you.